So now we're going to look under the microscope at our small T25 plus for normal colon cells and we're going to determine whether or not it's ready to be split into another flask or if we need to continue growing it in the same flask. So we know it's ready to be split into another flask when about 80% of the flask is full of cells. That's how we know. It's all pink, so there's condensation on there. That's why it's hard to see. So I'm just gonna, yeah, that's better. So this is our backup flask. There's only a few cells in there. I'm going to remove the media and just put fresh media in there. So that's very simple. So with a five mil pipette and the pipette gun, we're going to remove the old media. And then we're going to put the new fresh media, EMEM. 5 mil as well and put it back into the incubator. And you can, as you can see, the media is nice and fresh and pink. That's what we want. And when we compare it, This is what we want. So I'll put it back in the incubator. Okay. So now we're going to split these two flasks. There's more cells in this second flask. So we're going to put it into the bigger flask there. So it can continue growing. And then we're going to split this into two smaller flasks. I'm going to do the same thing, remove media from both flasks. Then we're going to add trypsin. Trypsin is going to help lift the cells off of the bottom of the flask. I'll put about two milliliters into each of trypsin. So we wash with PBS when there's a lot of debris under the microscope. But when we check on the microscope, the media was nice and fresh and clean. I couldn't see any debris. We mostly see a lot of debris with the cancer cells. So these cells here don't necessarily need to be washed every time. So we're gonna add two mil into each flask of trypsin and then leave it for about 5-10 minutes until the cells lift. Two mil into here. And two mil into here as well. Make sure that the trypsin covers the bottom layer of the flask and we're going to put it into the incubator for about 5-10 minutes and then we'll be back so we can split the cells. So now we're checking our flask after we've added the trypsin to see if they've lifted from the flask. So after checking on the microscope we can see that they're moving. It's about 10-15 minutes it takes for them so we can have a look. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add media to neutralize the reaction of lifting of the cells with trypsin. We're going to add 2 mil into each flask, same volume as trypsin that we added. This will neutralize the reaction. All 
right. A little bit more media in this flask. Each flask is going to go into an individual centrifuge tube. And then we're going to centrifuge it for about 10 minutes so we can get the cell pellet. Same thing for the second one. We're just pipetting everything, washing the bottom of the flask in case any cells are left over. Then we're taking up all the liquid into another centrifuge tube. We're gonna label the tubes and centrifuge. So the name of these normal cells is CCD841 and they're passage two, which is the second time that we're splitting it. And we're gonna put it into passage three. So we'll call this one centrifuge tube one. Same thing here, CCD841. And we'll call this one tube number two. Now we're going to put them opposite to balance the centrifuge. Lock it in place and press start and we'll be back when the centrifuge is over. So it's important for us to label on the flask what's going inside, the date and our name. So I'm going to label each flask with the name of the cell line. It's called CCD841. Today's date is the 26th of September with my initial and we're gonna call this one passage three or the third time we're splitting the cells. Same thing with these two. The 26th of September, my initial, passage number three and the last one. 26th of September, Passage number three. That's it. So seven minutes has elapsed. So now we're gonna collect our centrifuge tubes and we're gonna split the cells. So the cells are a small pellet at the bottom there in each tube. Very small. Yeah. Okay, centrifuge tube number one going to go into the big flask. Centrifuge tube number two is going to go into two smaller flasks. Okay. So now we're going to remove the media from each flask. We'll, we'll do them one at a time. So removing the media from flask number one, uh, tube number one, sorry. Leave a little bit of media at the bottom there. Then we're going to add fresh media into the tube. About five mil. Then we're gonna add fresh media into the centrifuge tube so we can put in the flask. And 
we're gonna pip it up and down just so we can disperse the palette of cells. That's fine. Collect everything out of the tube. That's the first one done. As you can see, the cells now are gonna grow into a blood trigger flask. And we're gonna repeat this process into two separate smaller flasks. So once again, remove the media. to put fresh media into each flask. We're going to put four mil into each flask. Then we're going to add fresh media into the centrifuge tube and split it into two different flasks. There's two milliliters of fresh media and then one mil of from each into each flask. So we're just pipetting up and down so we can disperse the cells from the bottom of the pellet. Okay. And we place about one mil into each tube. And we're done. Make sure it's covering the entire base. So now we've split our cells into three different flasks. And this passage three, we're gonna leave it and put it into the incubator.